Hello everyone and welcome back to City Skylines. We're back in Placeholder City here, which is my new city that I've been building. Uh, this is going to be episode 2. Welcome back. Um, not much has changed since the last episode. I did go into our budget panel here. And I adjusted some of the budget things just to make sure that we would continue to be making money. Last episode, we hit Worthy Village, which means we can buy another 2 kilometer by 2 kilometer section. And we only need 650 people to get the next upgrade. Um, it seems that having messed with my electricity... Yeah... So because I turned down the budget on electricity, we're not making enough. Um, I wonder if I can fix that by just adding another one of these guys in here. Will that... Actually, let's look at the uh, electricity. Available electricity. Uh, I need to up the budget a little bit, I think. So we're going to go to the budget panel. And we're going to turn that up. Oh, I guess we'll just keep it at 100. That way we shouldn't have any electrical issues. Go ahead and speed this up. Let's see what happens. There we go. Alright, so. What I want to do this episode, first off, these guys, they're complaining about not having police stations. There's a crime situation going on. But, this is going to be a small town. What I want to do is buy this tile for about $3,000. Now we own this land. Cool. So. Basically going to end up building a whole new city down here. And have this up here be its own thing. Um, but what I want to do up here real quick is we're going to... We're just going to fill out these guys' needs just to make sure um, just to make sure that they don't move out and they continue to progress and make us some money. Put a station there. That's alright. What? Crime rate is high. Yeah, there's a police station now though. Do you have health care? Yes. Do you have death care? No. I don't have death care unlocked yet, though, so that's okay. Uh, education buildings. Elementary school? We already have an elementary school done. Cool. Alright. Go ahead and let time progress. See if that goes down. And people should continue to move in. I want to see if I can get enough people to move in before we start going down there i want to make this like a whole little thing almost got 600 people we need 650 so i think what we're gonna do is pull out some roads works it's a rural area you guys have these gravel roads i believe and we're just gonna do Something like this. Come off like that. Out. To there. And we'll just put this as residential. Alright. So. All that should give us enough for our population to skyrocket a bit. A bit. There's only like a few houses there. That'll add enough probably to get to 650. So, uh, yeah. I'll go ahead and just let time go here for a little bit. And see what happens. Because I only have $20,000 and I need money to go up. Oh, that's why it was lagging out. The game just, like, froze on me for a little bit. It's because we hit Tiny Town. That's why. We hit the thing I was hoping to hit. So now we can make park areas, industry areas, landscaping policies all that cool now what i want to do before we begin we're going to pause the game because now we have forty thousand dollars and we haven't even taken out a loan yet so that's pretty cool this is going to be its own district this 
whole basin sort of situation. This area is going to be its own district. All that. High Park. I like that. Uh, actually, that works very well. And High Park's going to... You're going to have to come through High Park here. Yeah. And then this... Oops. Is it gonna be what is this gonna call itself? We're gonna bring it up like that. Holy Hills. Holly Hills. Holly Hills. Holly Hills is gonna be an industrial location, and they're going to focus. Uh no. They're just gonna I guess it's just gonna be generic uh industry because forestry is not gonna work and that's not good for farming. Um, commercial specializations, nothing really too interesting here. Um, industry areas, now that we have that, let's look at what the resources look like on this map. Go away, stats. Stats, go away. Look at the, okay. All right, so we got oil right here. So this is actually going to be great for oil industry. Uh, I could turn holly hills into the start of an oil industry on the side of that mountain there uh we got ore on this side is that what that is or is that just no that's just empty there's ore right here on this part of the mountain and ore up here down here there's a lot of ore ore and oil forestry everything seems pretty spread out you got a lot of oil out in the uh out in the ocean good to know um not a lot of forestry this this area down here is foresty i i was thinking farmland right here we'll do that and maybe plant some trees along here when we get there and turn this into a forestry uh commercialized or er, uh industry area right there cool now that that's planned out let me go ahead and start planning out some roads for uh, expansion, and I'll be back. Okay, well, I just ran out of money, and so let's see what happens. I did forget to do uh, electrical and power at first, but I just fixed that up. So hopefully some people start to move in down here, and we can start
start to make some more money because we're losing money really badly. Like, really badly. Let's see what's going on with the budget. Um, spending a lot on road maintenance. I mean, that's to be expend, ex bleh, expected. Uh, let's see here. Healthcare. We don't have any fire or anything. Yeah, I think, I think that's about the best we can do right now as far as budget. Um, need people to start moving in down. Oh, there's some people moving in, but we don't have money to give you guys water right now. I need you guys to move in, like, on this side over here, preferably. People coming in using this highway? Nobody's coming in using this highway yet. Just a little disappointing. Um, oh, one thing I did forget. We're going to district this. Because this is basically its own little neighborhood. I know I was going to say I wanted the city to be down here, but it I ended up just building a neighborhood. Um, because we don't have high density city yet, and this looks like a good place to put a neighborhood for now. So we're just gonna fill this in. What do we got here? The lake district. Even though this would be more of a lake district. Or that. Or, like, somewhere closer to the ocean, maybe? I don't know. That doesn't quite make sense. Uh, we're not making money. Fantastic. Um, I just need people to move in over here. I, I appreciate you guys moving in right there. Like, that's great. Fantastic. Move in over here. This side, please. Is there a reason that you're going over here more? You, you could have built houses that were like powered and water. I guess they have the electricity here. That's why. I forgot about that. Well, I'm making money. So if we just let this sit for a little bit, then maybe we'll get some money and be able to put water down for these guys. I got people moving in. They got water and they got electricity now and I'm making some money. Hell yeah. I'm going to finish off getting water throughout all of here because this area will fill in eventually. There's a lot of residential over here and residential is our need, I guess, right now. Cool. Perfect. Hey, we just reached Boomtown right as I finished getting all the water set up and there's a lightning storm happening right now, which that's cool. I think I just saw a little fire happening. Um, we just unlocked another two kilometer by two kilometer area. We get airports, transport, and transport is going to be very helpful in this city. Very helpful. Now, um, hopefully this fire doesn't spread down. Anyway, we seem to be having some issues with crime rate. They keep saying the crime rate is high. What if we just bulldoze these two buildings? Just get rid of the crime. Let's <laughs> see what, what that'll do. And then you guys should have a police station here as well. Let's go with one of these. I just throw it on the main road there. And then we also need a good old firehouse down here. Alright. 
Oh, one other thing I completely forgot that about for these guys is they need something to educate them. Um, we got a bunch of like, it's basically two neighborhoods side by side, but it's one neighborhood. So I think I'm going to have probably four elementary schools throughout here, two high schools. I think that'll make the most sense. Oh, that fire do be getting there. All right. Uh, time to just let time go, I guess, and let people move in. All right, so I let the game run for a while. I went and did some extra stuff, got some to eat, blah, 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 blah. Oh shoot, something's on fire up here. I saw a bunch of warnings. Okay, we're gonna pause the game. Uh, not enough water, not enough electricity. So let's see here, water. Water availability, we're running out of water availability. Um, should I just do a we're just gonna do one of these right there. And that should help with the water availability. Let that play, there we go. So that fixed that. Now let's check our electrical. Um, These guys just aren't connected. You need a connection. You guys need connection. This whole mountain is just gonna be a mess of electrical poles. Um, where's the best way to connect this? Right. There. Cool. All right, now will that fix electrical and water? Not water for those guys. Those guys still need water because there's not a water pipe. Simple as that. So I brought it through this guy, but I forgot about these. And I forgot about these guys. Um, okay. Cool. And then those guys will need water. All right, let the game play. That should fix all of our missing needs industry and residential seem to be the two things we need right now um but i do have seventy thousand dollars and have our loans been paid off yet no not both of them we're gonna pay off this one i know it took a chunk of money but now i have more money coming in we're not in debt you guys need electricity is our electricity needs mm, i see should we make a coal power plant right there and that'll help get the electricity down here a bit yep cool i like this side of the mountain being industrial i think that's a good idea <clears throat> i mean it's not a great idea 
considering there's gonna have to be some leveling out and smoothing. Um, speaking of which, so I know that oil is over here. So let's let's look at some. This is what we're gonna do. Okay, we got ore right here. Forestry ore kind of comes down there. Uh, I kind of want to do the oil. So if we do landscaping. Landscaping might take a second. Please don't crash game, I swear. I'll be nice to you. Okay, it loaded. It, it almost crashed. I thought it was gonna crash. So, we got something like this. Um, we're gonna find like the top. We're gonna go with this layer right here. So level. What does that look like? Can we level as much as possible? I want to see what this will look like. It's kind of weird looking with it, with the topographical end being in uh, the view that I'm in. But, ooh, that, that happened. Okay, we're just gonna fill out chunk of this and then nope slope is not what I needed um soften here we go I need to soften this. I'll be back when I figure out how all this works. Okay, so it's not perfect, but this is sort of what I came up with. It's just sort of a plateau sort of situation. Um, I could probably fix up what's going on over here, make it look a little bit more rocky than steep cliff like that. But it's not too bad, I don't think. So what the plan is for here is we're gonna go ahead and go to the district zoning and we're gonna paint an industry area. We're just gonna cover these plateaus for now. The chestnut sector. Uh, go ahead and, if you guys have any recommendations for names for anything, High Park, I, I do like the name of High Park. Uh, but if you have any names for the Lake District, Holly Hills, or Chestnut Sector, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Um, until then, they're just gonna kind of be in t unless I can think of something on my own. I'm not very good at that though. Are you gonna put out this fire? That'd be great. That'd be great. Cool. All right, let me go ahead and so I set this up because I wanted to have another road come off of here. So if we go with the rural roads, I'm back to the usual one that I've been using. Oh, hey, I'm back up to busy town. Uh, we got city planning policies, level four unique buildings, leisure tourism, oil industry. That's what I wanted. <laughs> I was setting that up without realizing I didn't even have it yet. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the game real quick. Then we're gonna do some pretty roads. Out to there, just like that. There. 
I kind of like that. That was what I was going for. And that gives us a bunch of extra area for industry. So, the chestnut sector. How are you going to be laid out? Well, you're going to have one main road going all the way through like that. That's for sure. A branch off like that there. A branch off to up here. With... Oh, this is going to get busy really quick. Another one like that. Did lightning just strike? I feel like I just felt like, or saw lightning strike. Put that up to there like that. And this is going to come down here. And straight across like that for the most area. And one right there. Cool. Now... We're going to go to the industries area, click on oil, grab the main building, and see if there's anywhere I can fit this. I didn't give myself enough space, did I? I did not. Oh, we can fit the main building right there. Cool. The rest, sh I believe these are smaller, because these are quite small. So we can just line this right here with some oil pumps. And that ran me out of money. Um, oh, but we have loans we can take. We'll take some loans then. And we're going to go back to the oil industry section. And we need a processing plant. Get that right next to it. And we need some storage. Put that right there. And we have a fence we could put down, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, this area is on the side of a mountain. I don't think they really need a fence right now. Uh, maybe later when they have like more buildings and stuff, I'll like line their cliffs. But... <clears throat> There's another fire breaking out down here. Fire safety seems to be an issue. So we're going to really quickly go to policies, city, oh, it's services, and smoke detector, distribution, and that'll do for now. All right. Now, while we're here, going to place down some basic industry buildings. These can be taken over. That's fine. But this will help fill in the area, make it feel more like the oil industry is doing something beyond those like seven buildings. All right, so we'll do that. Now we're gonna go to districts, actual district. And the Chestnut District, you're gonna be your own situation the middle district we're gonna go into here we're gonna go policy nope not policies uh it's it's back in here uh to industrialization specializations oil industry and click on the middle district there we go um do i have any good themes we're gonna also make it steampunk uh that's okay because I downloaded some city themes and I want to see what they'll do to an industry. So let's go ahead and let the game play. Um, and now that I think about it, okay, we're going to keep the game playing. And I'm going to think where and what to do next. We got some industry coming in. They need power and electricity. Of course they do. I always forget those. It is an issue that I have to always forget to give people power and electricity in this game. There we go. So that's power and electricity, water and electricity, what am I saying? Branch this out here. We'll bring this along that side like that. 
and then when industry fills in, you'll have power here. <laughs> That's just how it's gonna be. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You guys got things now. Yay. All right. Uh, we are losing money, so pause the game. Moving on, I think. Has death care been unlocked yet? Yes, death care has been unlocked. We got a cemetery. We're gonna go ahead and put. I want a cemetery like on this hill here. So we're gonna go to a rural road. Um, do I have? We're gonna go with the dirt road. Just make it a dirt road here. And we're gonna branch it off right here. I'm sorry, guys. But I wanna have a graveyard right here. Or cemetery, excuse me. Uh, blah, 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 cemetery. Cool. Got one of those there. And that will make everybody happy. What else am I missing? Childcare? <clears throat> Um, we're gonna put the child care. We're gonna make this like a high end area up here. This is where we're gonna focus for now. So, child care, elder care. I cannot afford anything. I cannot afford anything that's not, um, a literally free thing for cheating. I don't wanna do that. I want to play the game. So we got that done. There's also transit we can work on. And I think that is something to do next episode because I don't have money. Um, We're just going to have to let the city play out for a little while and hope that we can get some money. What's going on with the income? Oh, no. Oh, it's because I took loans, isn't it? Um, yeah. Oh, let's turn down our industry spending money and turn all these things down. Oh, don't want to mess with education. I like education where it's at. I like to start everything all the way down as soon as I get it because then it can only go up. And that's basically the idea is like so now all these things that don't have anything as soon as i put it down it'll have its half effect overall throughout the whole city but i can adjust that and only have it go up and it's not going to be costing me a ton of money at the beginning of the game so uh this is this guy needs water I always do this. This is my crux. All right. Did that fix it? Do you have water now? Yeah, you have water now. So that's what it's like to get to work in Holly Hills. Huh. I think that guy drove all the way up from down here. So some of these people, actually a lot of these people are taking this road to get up to Holly Hills. Let's, let's just look at our traffic manager real quick. I don't think I have hard traffic enabled or parking AI enabled. That, that could be fixed. We could fix that. Hard mode on. There we go. Oh, we are using 171% of our elementary school. Uh, that is not good. Uh, that is not good. Yeah, our elementary school only has a capacity of 250, and there are 425 eligible students. 
Uh, not great. Not great. We're gonna come down here. Oh wait, I don't have money. What am I thinking? We we just need to let the game play. We're gonna. <laughs> Can I increase taxes? Will that help? I don't want to. I think if we just let the game run, everything we put in should get us up into the positive. So I'm just gonna let the game play. Once again, this is how you play City Skylines. You just do do a couple things and then let the game go. And it either works or it doesn't. Oh, they're giving me the bankruptcy alert. I want to reject this. Um, Cause I feel like I should be able to get out of this hole. People are coming in slowly. I, I do this a lot. This, this tends to happen. But I have a feeling we'll get out of it. I just need to see that hit positive money. I just want to see making positive money for one day. It's only going down right now. Um, it's only going down right now. We could... Nope. I don't have any loans to take. Can't get out of it like that. You guys are not making any industry right now. Uh, what is going on? How's traffic? Is traffic, like, bad at all? Traffic's alright. These roads don't show traffic, so I don't... I don't know how I feel about that. But everything's working. So, I think we're okay for now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Negative 85 a day. Negative 79, 75, 72, and 1,000. There it goes. We're gonna reject the bailout. Always reject the bailout. <laughs> so something is hum something is happening to be spending all of my money. I think it might be that these guys are uh importing. Can I turn off? import there we go that should fix everything I just don't want them to be importing any goods all right well I think I'm gonna let the city run and that's all that I can really do for today it just I need to make some money get get our cash back so that's gonna be it for today I'll see you guys next time in placeholder city if you have any uh suggestions go ahead and let me know um any recommendations of what to do do you have an idea as to where to go next with this that'd be great um i, I i'm gonna have to let this run just to get up to positive money and i'll be back once those loans are paid off and everything that'll be next episode all right have a good one uh if you want to see more go ahead and hit subscribe all right peace out Bye.